What is going on YouTube? It is the Sports Star back with another video on the channel. And today we are doing an Arizona Cardinals full seven round mock draft. Now, this is going to be a longer mock draft than usual. Usually it's only seven picks. This time it's double that. The Cardinals have 13 picks in this year's draft, which is honestly unbelievable. They have definitely got a future that is super bright. They just have to make the right picks, and that's what I'm here to do, trying to rebuild uh, the Arizona Cardinals with this draft. So let's begin. We're using Mock Draft Database since PFF costs money now. We will probably have to start investing in that. And right off the bat... We have a couple options to make. I think I'm going to stay realistic because sometimes mock draft database is not very realistic with the first three or four picks. So I'm just going to assume that Jaden Daniels, the first three picks for quarterbacks, um, Drake May, Let's just say he's gone because he's not going to be available at four. So I'm going to go with Marvin Harrison Jr. <clears throat> Some might say the best player in the draft, probably the best wide receiver in the draft, him or um, Malik Neighbors, but I think that it's still Marvin Harrison Jr. He's still, in my opinion, considered generational. Um, as we are on the board again in the – with our last first round pick. And we have a decision. We could go quarterback here with JJ McCarthy. I don't know if he's honestly the pick to go with just because of the other needs that we have here. Um, cornerback, I would not take uh, Kamari in the first <clears throat> in the first round. Maybe early uh, second to mid second round. So I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to go JJ McCarthy and I'm going to tell you why. Kyler Murray is not the guy. He is a good quarterback. He's not elite. He will not get you past where you are now. I do not trust him getting a Super Bowl for the Cardinals. And I think you just need a complete refresh, whether it's trading Kyler Murray for draft picks for next year, or it's having JJ McCarthy and Kyler Murray battling it out. Um, so I'm going to go JJ McCarthy there. It's I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen him in recent drafts fall to past 10. So I think uh, McCarthy here would be a pretty big steal. With this second pick, I am going to go with... I'm going to go Braylon Trice, edge out of Washington. If you saw him in that national championship game against J.J. McCarthy's team, he was absolutely balling out. Um, a really good presence. I think he has potential to be top edge rusher in the league you just have to develop him a little bit and we are on the board again i'm going to try to go um corner let's see who is available kaylin carson would not take him here i think we're gonna to have to play off our board because we do have or play off the big board just because we do have so many picks to address so many Different position, uh, different positions. So, with this next pick, ah, uh, shoot, I'm gonna go Cedric Van Pran, and I think here's why. I think he's the second best interior offensive lineman in the entire draft. Um, if you saw what he did at Georgia, lockdown, and bringing that to Arizona would be huge. Uh, with this next pick, I'm definitely, wow, he's still here. 
<clears throat> I'm going to have to go with uh, Peyton Wilson, NC State linebacker. Um, he, great, great, great player. I think that, yes, it might be a risk taking a linebacker here, but you still need that um, secondary help and so many options here, man. All right, for this next pick, I'm going to go with corner. And I'm I'm really liking this uh Kalen Carson out of Wake Forest. He is honestly one of my favorite prospects in the draft and getting him here at 90 is a steal. All right, with this next pick, I am going to go with offensive tackle. I uh, he has in recent mocks been going um top in the first two rounds and getting him here in the fourth obviously as i've been saying is a steal so you got to play off the board here i'm going to go with uh kieran uh out of yale or karen kieran out of yale offensive tackle so what we have addressed so far wide receiver one you got your wide receiver one you've got your future quarterback of the future uh really 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 solid edge rusher out of uh washington Address the interior and the tackle position of your offensive line. Securing your defense with uh, Peyton Wilson and Kalen Carson. Um, with this next pick, I'm considering running back. But I think you could do that in free agency as well. Uh, defensive line... Yeah, Tyler Davis here out of Clemson. You can't get better than that in the fifth round. Solid guy. I think you really like running back stuffing. Uh, running back is the what he's known for. So I think I like getting him there as well. With this next pick. I am going to go, oh, man. Let's see what running backs are available. Ray Davis is still here. Okay. I was going to say, Ray Davis, he is an absolute mauler. I watched him at Vanderbilt uh, two years ago. Transferred, obviously, after destroying Kentucky, and he decided Kentucky saw that and wanted to get him. So, entered the transport portal, Ray Davis played amazing this last year and i think he has potential to be future running back one in the nfl with this next pick i am going to address the secondary with safety uh just got to make sure the right guy is available um yeah i'm gonna go keaton uh alapo oladapo out of oregon state and uh, I'll see you guys at the next pick. Okay, at this next pick, we have almost back-to-back -back picks. And I'm going to address, and this is honestly almost surreal, I'm going to give you guys the Colorado State tight end, Dallin Holker. And why this is such a cool pick is that McBride and Holker were both Tied in one and tied in two. McBride's last year at Colorado State. So that's going to be really cool reunion for those two. As we are on the board again. And we've almost addressed all of our positions. I think it would be... I wouldn't hate taking a kicker here. But like, I don't... I just really hate when teams draft these type of positions, but you do have like two free picks, basically your last, I, I might just go ahead and uh, give you some more depth at wide receiver. And yeah, I'm going to go Marcus uh, Rose me Jackson from Georgia. That's a tongue twister. Um, Yeah, I really like, I really liked what he did. Georgia was a very, 
he was a very good slot receiver and really gave them bigger a bigger impact than he was expecting to do uh, as last year. So as we are on the board again, oof. believe it or not, this might be the only time I address kicker for any of these mocks. But since you have the draft capital, I'm going to have to go with Joshua Cardi from Stanford, one of the best in the nation last year. And hopefully he can produce that to the next level. And yeah, that's the draft. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing so much to us. Um, and yeah, that'll be the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, everyone.